Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and Inktober is finally here. I am so happy. I've been looking forward to Inktober for quite a while, and um, even though I swore off of Inktober last year <laughs> because I failed miserably, um, I'm gonna give it a go this year again because I'm hoping... Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping, of course, that I can finish it, but this year I'm a little bit more relaxed about it. I'm okay if I don't finish. Um, last year actually taught me a lot. Uh, I've done Inktober twice before. I did it in 2016. That was my first time, and I actually succeeded. Um, and then in 17, I failed. I think I got to day 23 or something, and then I just stopped because I got too stressed and there were too much going on. And... Um, I was putting too much pressure on myself and this year I know I'll have a hard time because I'm going to be ridiculously busy next week. I'm actually also, I have extra work today, um, so today is going to be a whole, it's going to be a really hard day, but uh, I, uh, I sketched out my Inktober drawing this morning and I'm going to ink it in when I get back home this evening. Hopefully I'll have energy to do that, so, um, so yeah. <laughs> um, Anyway, I, I have learned a lot from doing Inktober twice before and uh, last year is what I actually learned a lot last year by failing and I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be upset with myself if I fail to uh, complete Inktober this year. I'm going to be completely okay with it. I am taking some of the pressure off. I really want to just draw every day that's something I really really want to do and I want to get better this is this was the same thing the same goal that I set for myself last year I want to get better at making a decision and sticking to it because that is my biggest weakness as an artist I have too many ideas and I never know which one to go with and then I end up weaving between five or ten different ideas and I end up not being able to make a decision and then I burn myself out having worked on too many things and yeah it's really annoying and I'm gonna try my best to uh, get better at that this year to, to make a decision stick to it and just get it get it done and um, <laughs> well today's speed paint is gonna be four Inktober drawings my four first Inktober drawings and um, you know, four drawings, I'm not burned out yet. I'm fine. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. I really enjoy what I've done so far. I really, really love my Inktober drawings, especially this one. Day two is definitely my favorite so far. I absolutely love what I came up with. And the funny part is I actually... Uh, <laughs> I tried to paint a forest with the uh, inks and, and I actually screwed it up. It looked absolutely awful. I couldn't really commit to whether or not I wanted to go with something realistic looking or something stylized and I ended up messing up the the illustration I'm like I'm not happy with this and so I started over and then I made this and this looks amazing and I'm so happy with what I you know what I ended up making uh, I'm so happy I ended up redoing it and this one didn't take me that long to do once I um, once I finally kicked myself in the butt and forced myself to have a clear vision of what I wanted um, and make a decision to go for something incredibly stylized and, and not try to go for any sort of realistic look. Just go for a silhouette. I really like this. It's very graphic and um, I really enjoy this. <laughs> uh, and, um, and that's something I want to focus on this year too. Like I'm going to experiment a lot with my inks and I'm not usually very good at going for something like this. This kind of style is something I'm very unfamiliar with, but I really like it when other artists do it, so I want to try it out for myself. And yeah, I just want to explore a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I just want to explore a lot of things and ways to work with my uh, with the ink. And truth is, I haven't really... I don't work with ink outside of Inktober, so it's, it's kind of... <laughs> it's a little... Uh, you know, <clears throat> scary to pick that up every year. Ink is such a, it's it's so, it's so just there. You know, <laughs> no erasing, no nothing. But oh well. Um, and uh, and that's that's fine. And yeah. <laughs> oh God, working with ink is like, ugh, it's it's cool and it can look so awesome, but it's also just kind of scary. But yeah. Anyway. Um. Definitely would be easier if I had it. Like, I don't know, my dip pen, I have 
so much trouble with my dip pen. The ink dries out. I don't know, maybe I'm too slow to, to draw my lines, even though I think I work pretty fast, actually. Uh, but it dries out too quickly, and then I have to wash the ink pen and scrub it clean and then start over. And I have to do that several times. It's really annoying. But I don't know. It's probably just me. I suck at this stuff. But oh well. <laughs> um... Anyway, so for Inktober this year, I'm doing the same thing I've do, done uh, the two last years. I'm keeping, I don't follow a prompt list, I am keeping to my theme of Halloween, really. I just want to draw anything that's kind of creepy or, you know, anything that has to do with like a Halloween-y kind of feel. And um, <clears throat> and I, I just, yeah, that's, that's, I'm happy with that. And I have plenty of ideas. Uh, <laughs> So I hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna manage to actually finish. But once again, if I don't, I'm gonna be okay with it because I know it's not, it's not that horrible. Because even though I was really upset last year when I didn't finish, I look back at the drawings that I that I actually did create last year, and I really like them. And I think that's a huge advantage to me too that I've done Inktober twice before, so I have ideas um, from the other years. I can go back and explore. I can go back and redraw some of them, like my Shadow Wolf, the very first uh, illustration you saw in this video. I have drawn that one uh, the two past years as well. In in 2016, it appeared as a ghost wolf in a forest, and it was kind of almost a realistic look. And last year, it was a very very cartoony looking uh, Shadow Wolf, and I really love that one. I I love my Shadow Wolf. <laughs> And uh, I love him again this year. I have to have him. Like my Shadow Wolf is gonna be a uh, that that's gonna that that one's gonna reappear every year. I know that, and that's really cool. I can go back and the the second illustration, my trees with the uh, with the nooses in them. Like last year, I did a illustration of like a hanging tree as well. And um, and yeah, that that <laughs> that gave me the idea for these trees, just in a completely different style, but um, but still, and um. And the angel also is actually a continuation of something I had an idea for last year. I uh, painted a couple of angel wings that were kind of, uh, you know, they were corrupted. They were turning black and 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 uh, wasting away along with the halo. And I decided to revisit that and decided to go for more like a falling angel that has demons bursting out of his chest or something. I don't know. It just, it was a cool visual. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so I think it's a huge advantage if you've done it before, you can go back and, you know, draw from your old ideas. And that's a lot of fun to redo something. And already, like just with the four first illustrations, I can see that I've improved a lot uh, from 2016 till now. So yeah, that's that's a lot of fun. And this is the last illustration you're going to get today. And uh, I I don't know if you guys noticed in the mushroom, the, 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 the mushroom that's up front, but uh, I actually wrote poison with the, with the dripping, uh, whatever that is, the dripping goo that's coming off of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, I thought that was a kind of cool little detail. <laughs> um, anyway, that is it for today's illustrations. I hope you like them, and uh, let me know if you guys are doing Inktober 2, and uh, leave me a link if you uploaded any videos or if you're uploading to Instagram. I'd love to check it out. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be uploading more Inktober illustrations next week, and uh, yeah, by the end of Inktober, of course, I'm going to go make a video with all of them, and if you want to follow me, um, on Instagram so you can see what I do every day feel free to do that or yeah that didn't make any sense but whatever I'm running out of time and I'm just gonna end it here and I will hopefully talk to you guys next week bye man I had more time than I thought